Here's Bart, never uh, at a loss for words. Anything to say? Why, why are you here? And you want me to be succinct? <laughs> well, Hippie? is it too much to ask? Probably. But. Uh, let, let me see if I can try. Um, this brother over here has a good sign. Public land, public input. Okay. Um, I think what the PLDC is, is it represents the establishment, political and economic establishment that control the people or the lands and resources of Hawaii are fed up with the encumbrances that people have devised over the years in the form of planning regulations, public hearings. They want to cut through all of that kind of regulation and make it easier to make profits by using the resources, in this case the public lands of Hawaii. And in the past when Linda Lingle was governor, she didn't see a need for an environmental uh, impact statement for the super ferry. So then Neil comes in with the backing of a lot of environmentalists and we think it's going to be better. But now he does with the PLC, he does even worse than Lingle. It's not just one project that doesn't have to have an EIS. It's virtually all public lands can be developed even to the point of putting hotels or timeshares on it. And the only people who make the decisions are five unelected people who are picked by the political leadership and represent the business community rather than the people. And we have no right to input. They pass the law that way by sneakily gutting and replacing the legislation, not giving advance notice for public hearing. Then once they pass it, that's the routine they want to have for deciding major decisions on development of land in Hawaii. It's wrong, and I'm here to say it's wrong. We have to repeal the act. That's great. Thanks, uh, Bart. It, it, you must feel strongly about it because it's a hot day. It's really uh, tough being out here on the sidewalk. Thanks a lot, Bart. Okay, aloha.